Hey everyone, welcome back to the way of warp part 2. We will create this interesting effect using attribute warp. We will start with captioning affected area and we will check how we can apply noise on it. And there are lots of other tips and tricks also. So without further ado, let's get started. I need test geometry. I don't want shaders. Let's unpack this. I want grid. Adjust grid. I need more resolution this time. Cool. So let's start. So I want to deform this grid based on this interaction. For that, I need this around area, right? So I'll use attribute transfer. Just add color. And I want to transfer color. And we will use this blend. Right, so I think point one is fine, and let's just merge this to visualize. Let's use warp now, it's a point warp, and I'll just rename this as a deform. Okay, so I want to deform this uh, white area in y axis. So, for that, to take any axis, we need constant let's add this constant in our current position right and i want to deform it in specifically y-axis yeah so it's overall it's like adding that value but i want to specifically add this here and how do i do that so for that we need to understand this so let's understand the value of this color and you don't have to go every time to access this geometry spreadsheet. So here also you can just visualize this. Go over here and you can just split top and bottom and I want to visualize inspector geometry spreadsheet. And here there are some interesting things that I want to visualize this CD attribute. So it's point right. And here if I go I have this vertices, polygons and details as well. So here let's select and if you have lots of attributes then you can just isolate that specific value which you want to visualize let's just select and yeah cool so everything is there and i want to check the specific point value and for that let me just select that specific value so how do i check that here so for that i want to check selected point value only so i will just select only show selected so it shows one yeah that's fine but if i select over here it shows some value uh, currently it's not visible you can see here i selected this area so it's one so this will work as mass so zero if you multiply this zero value with any other value equation will be zero and if you multiply with one equation will be one so we will use this as a mass so let's just check how we can do that as so we have to basically multiply this in order to use this as a mask so yes let's just make a room and i want color value cool so now i don't want to visualize this anymore let's just minimize cool so we are getting that value and let's just reduce it's too much yeah and Let's just merge these two things. Let me just delete city. And on top of that, let's add normal as well. So in order to get like proper visualization. Cool. So does this look interesting? No, technically. So I want to deform this edge only. So how we can do that specifically that age join the spreadsheet again and let's select this value. So here you can see that we are getting from one to zero. So these values are in between from like from point three to point eight. So how do I isolate those value? So for that, I will use cross product. <laughs> I'm kidding. So for that, I will use 
ramp and which is very easy so it's not so technically and so i have this option so so this is default value and don't make changes here so whenever you create ramp and in later lessons we will discuss about parameters also but for now let's just whenever you create this ramp and everything it always promote it outside so always make changes here only and here i don't want this color ramp i need this ramp let's just connect and visualize our color and for now i don't want to visualize this deformation right so it's all blank because our color ramp is flat and i want to isolate this area only so for that you can just this is zero and this is one so i need in between which is here and i'll just remove this i'll just make it zero and i need proper bispline right so this is even we have even more control over it so now let's use this and connect position and yep now this looks much interesting right but here i am getting those uh, no, these things and how do i fix it so for that you can see here this thing is there in the attribute transfer as well and i'll just uh, rename this first so how do we get rid of this thing so maybe we can just blur it out so we will just blur this value and we have a node called attribute blur so we will just use that to blur that cd so when you use attribute blur it will work on this position but we want to specify the attribute so we need this and let's just use 10 it's working let's go till 50 so it's all blurred out and let's just check real time we are getting much better output and is this looks cool still not yet and i still want to affect this area so let's just use this as a point two yes it's affecting and point three is also fine yep so how we can make enhance this even further so first i can notice that it's all levels are same so here we can introduce noises so let's just check how we can apply noise over here so we know how to use noise we have used in the previous class we just need to connect this and that's all we need 2d noise so where do i apply noise uh, let's apply here first let's just check what we are getting oops it's not uh, working so more important is where we do apply noise on which value specifically so here how we are getting this in y-axis so specifically we will apply that noise in y-axis only and it's working let's just uh, make this simplex noise and let's just increase 10 yep it's looking much much better right but one more thing is there when we apply noise let's just check noise and it's uh, let's just check spreadsheet and i want to visualize everything so this noise into negative value also and i need positive value only so here we can use fit range so but we have more interesting note for that so if you use absolute so you can see it's a plus icon so what it will do it will convert all of this value in positive only so that's what we want and now let's just connect this okay and i don't want to visualize this anymore let's just disconnect and just watch yes so now let's make changes to the noise i want and let's just reduce and let's keep this control over here only i want one right so this looks cool and so it's all done using this warp right and let's just play this 
oh so we can see some problem over here that when this character moves and we are not getting we are not able to capture that value so here and uh, we need previous position and so for that we can use this trail right so it will remember that previous position and if i use dollar f over here it will remember its each frame position that's what we want but at the moment it's a bit heavy you know all of these polygons are there and do we really want that so so we don't really want it so what we can do we can just work on some optimization here we we can just keep these legs only that right? and next we can scatter some particles and always use this density scale to scatter particles at the moment it's uh, 17 17 so maybe we can keep it till 2k yeah that's much better it will always take times to unpack all those things and it's always it great to cache out this thing file caching and we will use file cache let's just cache it out right so now if you check that we are getting all those things and it's done and let me just create a camera and make a flip book let's just use a bit dark color for character so this is what we can do with using walk we can create procedural setup and you can just go to any frame it won't take simulation time or something and we have enough control over noises and how much we want to deform this surface and yeah this looks really cool and you can even enhance this further by adding all those noise so hope you like this tutorial and see you next time